again. I've been thinking this week about the story that I read to you last week, the story about the lost son. And I've been thinking about how thankful I am that I have such a loving father and a savior who thinks about me all the time and that no matter how I'm feeling, where I am, or what I'm doing, I'm never lost from him. Which made me kind of excited to read to you the story this week called Washed with Tears. And it's about another person who's lost, but they find Jesus and he makes a big difference in their life. So everybody get ready, get comfy and cozy, and let's listen to this story, Washed with Tears. It's from the New Testament, the book of Mark, chapter 14, the book of Luke, chapter 7, and the book of John, chapter 12. Another title for this story is A Sinful Woman Anoints Jesus. Ready? Here we go. One night, Jesus went to dinner at an important leader's house. The important leader invited his important friends. They were all just sitting down to eat when a woman walked in. She was not invited, but everyone knew who she was. Who does she think she is, the guests whispered. How dare she? The woman was a sinner, and everyone knew it. She was a big sinner. It was easy to see, after all, she had broken the rules and done bad things, just like me, just like you. The woman walked straight up to Jesus. She was carrying very expensive perfume. Now the thing about perfume back then was that it didn't come in bottles. It came in jars. The jars were usually made of precious stone, like alabaster. But here's the catch. The jars didn't have a lid or a stopper or anything. The only way you got the perfume out of the jar was if you broke it. You had to break the jar. And once you broke the jar, that was it. You had no more. Most people didn't use perfume, excuse me, because it was too precious. They just kept it on a shelf and looked at it. So you see, this perfume was her most precious thing in all the world. It was her treasure. The woman knelt down before Jesus like he was a king. She held Jesus' feet in her hands, and she started to cry. Her tears fell onto Jesus' feet, washing them. She kissed his feet and dried them with her long, dark hair. And then she did something strange. She broke the jar and poured the perfume all over his feet. Everyone gasped. What a waste over someone's feet. Such expensive perfume. It smelled like lilies in a summer field. Jesus looked at the woman, and he smiled at her. What she had done was the most wonderful thing. Just as Samuel in the Old Testament had anointed King David, God's true king, all those years before, so this woman anointed Jesus, not with oil, but with her tears. The important people were cross. They thought Jesus should not be kind to this woman. That woman is a sinner, they grumbled. We're the good ones. And it's true, they did look good from the outside. After all, they were keeping all the rules. 
but Jesus could see inside people and inside, in their hearts, Jesus saw that they did not love God or other people. They were running away from God and they thought they didn't need a rescuer. They thought they were good enough because they kept the rules, but sin had stopped their hearts from working properly and their hearts were hard and cold. This woman knows she's a sinner. Jesus told them she knows she'll never be good enough. She knows she needs me to rescue her. That's why she loves me so much. You look down on this woman because you don't look up to God. She is sinful on the outside, but you are sinful on the inside. The important people shook with anger. Jesus turned to the woman and smiled. Your sins are forgiven, he said. You trusted me, and God has rescued you. Who does Jesus think he is, the important people whispered. Only God can forgive sins. They didn't believe Jesus was God's son. The more Jesus loved people and helped them, the more the important people and leaders hated him. They were afraid people would follow Jesus instead of them. They were jealous and angry. They were angry enough to kill Jesus. Next week, we'll find out more about the last week of Jesus' life and all the amazing things that he did and all the hard things that he did. And this woman knew who Jesus was. She didn't know what he was about to do, but she loved him very much. He had touched her heart. I hope and pray that Jesus touches your heart in many, many different ways and shows you how powerful he is and how loving he is every day of your lives. Will you join me in prayer? Lord, we thank you so much for this woman, the story about her. Lord, she's just like all of us. We're all sinners. And Lord, help us to remember to come to you, to honor you as she did, to respect you, Lord, and to remember what you did for us. Help us not to be like the important people, thinking that we're good, when really we all have sin in our lives. We've all done something that displeases you, God, and keeps us away from you. We lift up this week to you, Lord, and pray that you would help us to remember this story, to not be judging of our friends or others or even of ourselves, to remember how much you love us. And that's the reason you came to be our rescuer. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you enjoy the song that follows, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon telling you more about the most wonderful story ever written. Bye-bye. Kindness, kindness, oh, whenever you find this, you will see the world's a better place. Kindness, kindness, oh, whenever you try this, you could bring a smile to someone's face Well, it doesn't take much And it doesn't take long No, it doesn't cost a thing, no And there's no way to do it wrong You can try it any time You can plant it where you want And you can grow it in your heart Then give it out to everyone
put it in your words And everything you say In the little things you do All throughout the day And you can share it with your neighbor And you can teach it to a friend And you can show your mom and dad How the kindness never ends Yeah Kindness, kindness Oh, whenever you find this You will see the world's a better place Kindness, kindness Oh, whenever you try this You could bring a smile to someone's face So if you see someone who's had a bad day And you'd like to try and make them feel okay Try